This hack has been making the rounds and anytime someone shares a remedy with me, I like to share if there's any evidence to back it up and whether there is evidence or not, I look at what the risks are and let you decide. Hey, this is informed decision making, right? So let's clear the air. Can rubbing hydrogen peroxide in your nostrils actually prevent you from getting sick? The theory is that since hydrogen peroxide is an antiseptic, it can kill bacteria and viruses on contact. Some people believe that applying it inside the nose stops germs before they spread or prevents viral replication, reducing the chances of full-blown illnesses. In fact, there were many viral posts saying to inhale it through a nebulizer to treat or prevent COVID-19. And no, please do not do that. I do not want anyone inhaling hydrogen peroxide. There are some studies looking at hydrogen peroxide for rinsing the mouth and nose, but before you start sniffing out this trend, there is no solid evidence that rubbing hydrogen peroxide in your nostrils prevents illness. Some small studies have looked at hydrogen peroxide mouth rinses, but that doesn't mean it's safe or effective inside your nostrils. And let's talk about some concerns with doing this, especially on a regular basis. First up, mucosal irritation and tissue damage. Your nose has a delicate lining and hydrogen peroxide can burn, sting, and irritate it, especially if you're using it often. And if the concentration is too high above 10%, it can actually be corrosive and cause tissue damage. Next is oxidative stress. You might think you're killing off germs, but you could actually be weakening your body's natural defenses. Hydrogen peroxide can disrupt the good bacteria and cells that help protect your nasal passages, potentially making you more vulnerable to infections. And finally, cilia damage and mucus buildup. You know those tiny hair-like structures inside your nose, cilia? Their job is to sweep out mucus dust and germs, kind of like a built-in cleaning crew. But hydrogen peroxide can damage cilia, slowing them down or stopping them altogether. And when cilia stops working, mucus builds up, congestion can get worse, and your nose actually becomes less effective at clearing out viruses and bacteria. So instead of preventing illness, you could actually be making things worse. So my conclusion, there is no evidence to support this works. And if you are an adult, the risk can be mucosal irritation. If you swear by this and want to proceed, that's your choice, but do remember the risks. But I would skip this remedy for kids given they have more sensitive mucous membranes than you and can risk mucosal damage. Instead of sticking hydrogen peroxide in your nose, consider saline nasal sprays or rinses. Saline or hypertonic saline sprays have been shown to help reduce the duration of colds and keep nasal passages clear without the risks. And unlike hydrogen peroxide, saline moisturizes the nasal passages preventing dry dryness and irritation, which can lead to more entry points for viruses. It also flushes out excess mucus, germs, and allergens, helping you breathe easier, and supports cilia function instead of damaging it, allowing your nose to naturally clear out viruses and bacteria. Remember to follow Pete's Doc Talk for more explanations of viral trends, and if you have links to videos, drop them in my forum in my link in bio.